because somehow it was going to yeah. bring money and yeah. value to the region. Exactly. It's like you said it. I can't wait to come back here and ride. Yep. Well, that means you're coming back. That's right. You're from Toronto. You're That's here, right. Exactly. You're going to get gas. You're going to have something. You know, whatever Correct. Be, right? so. Yep. So this is the Canada Summer Games 2022 yeah. mountain bike course that's been organized by who? Uh, well, Canada Canada Games Council. Right. Um, and how did they get the uh, what's Niagara organization called? Uh, the well the the, the association building the trail is the Niagara Trail Maintenance Association. Right. Um, they've been contracted to build or you know like a balloon or right. a path right. to create a uh, course that can be used for uh, a national event. Right. We've got a lot of sections closed off right now that right. we continue to work on them. So. Um, you know, until they're completed, we don't really want to open it up to everybody. So the races are coming up one side of this road, and they'll climb to the, uh, you can see a yellow sign yep. up there? Right. Right around there is going to be a turnaround. Point. So they'll turn around on that road, and they're going to head back down, okay. down the other side. Um, so we're going to have two-way traffic on this, uh, this house where elevation is to move to Canada. Uh, Cycle Canada criteria. Right, we right. We're going to need to climb in. They look a free water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so there are some specific requirements that have to be met. There is, right. yes. Uh, the course should be around 5 kilometers long. Uh, we're about 4.6. Um, and it should be about 15 minutes to do that. Right, that's about. So, plus there's like features and stuff we'd like to see. So we've tried to be. Include as many of those as possible. How many laps did the races do? The male are going to do seven. The right. male are going to do five. That's for the cross country race. Uh, the they'll each do a lap on the relay. There's a relay race as well. Um, so each oh, there's a team, relay. Yeah, so each team does a lap. Um, so that'll be three laps there. Uh, there's also a sprint race as well, which is a shorter course. It's right. only about uh, it's it's only about a kilometer long. This is just a U21. Although, because of COVID, they've actually extended it for some of the provinces because they've had actually just, you know, right. missed out. So they've, they've, there's some concessions going on there. So there will only be, each province will send three male, three female athletes um, to compete. The province is the um, yeah. So that's kind of exciting. Um, exciting when you want to start a, a mountain bike race, you always want to try to have a climb. Separation, right. so not everyone's trying to get into this one area, right? And here's the signage. Yeah, that's got to go. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sign from the a previous uh, trail building guy. So. Right. Um, so basically, what we've done here, the trail used to kind of just make a quick in, right? But we've added this because, right? So what's happened before is. A lot of guys were racing down the hill and cutting across the road and going right in. Yeah. Well, there's traffic. Right. So what we've done, but now they know we have to slow down to make this turn. So we're thinking of community safety, right? Yep. By having this little turn makes a big difference. Oh, right? yeah. They gotta slow down for it and they're not racing across yeah. the road. Right, right. Plus plus for the game, this slows down the uh, the racers as well, because right. they're coming off of there. So you gotta slow down, hit the berm. Hit the berm in here. Hello. There's been some resistance from people. Yep, some of the neighbors are just not, uh, they're not happy about having mountain bike trails or trails right. in their backyard. Um, Which are actually already there. <laughs> yeah. <You> know? <laughs> yeah. So that was something that was, <clears throat> there had been something here before, it wasn't safe. Yeah. Um, so we went and recreated the same feature that was here with a safer look to it, right? So it's, uh, yeah, it's nice. pretty good. There, we have obviously little bits and pieces to... It should move oh, a little bit. Flying, huh? They should <laughs> move a little bit, right? You gotta have it a little a bit of that. won't touch that. Exactly. So it'll just go right off the top. But, yeah. um, you know, those are things that, you know, as we get close to the games, that we, we continue to monitor these pieces and continue to... Uh, you know, safety, right? Right. This is a community space, so yeah. Um, yeah. we're always trying to make sure that that's what's most important. It's safe and sustainable is what we really want. 
So we put a filter in. So if you can think of them coming off that off the hill without having the hairpin to slow them down, they're coming along here. They hit the tabletop, right. hit this, and then they hit this. Oh my gosh! So <laughs> what we've yeah, done? Flying. Yeah. So we've had the hairpin to slow them down. We had the tabletop to, you know, uh, give them something to think about. Yeah. And then we've added a filter in here, which you know they're going to have to. Some might be able to clear it. Others will have to probably hop over, right. but it does bit. slow them over, slow them down a bit. Yeah, this is to take them to this. this is, so this is actually a roll down. Well, That's right. Quite well, a people lot of will come flying off. This. But yep. if you're a spectator and you're looking from there, and all you see is this. Yeah, there's it's nothing. Like it's yeah. terrifying. Yeah. Look at this. But because it's a community thing again, as you come here, you could actually roll it. Yep. Yeah. Right. So. Um, okay. So there's two lines here. So oh. the other line, the B line, is that far trail. Right, that comes around. Right, and it, it joins in oh, down there at the bottom. <coughs> and this goes... It's going to go that way. Yeah. Right, and yep. does it cut back? Is this... It will. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Go up here. So we, we stabilized everything. Can I ride that on my kids' tricycle? Uh, we checked it with some, like, we had some smaller kids that were out here, and we, we checked their bottom bracket. Right. Height, yes. Just to see it wouldn't get hung up on the bike. Right. right. So, and the kids said, the bike's are fairly small. Um, <coughs> the Strider bike. I uh, wonder if it was the Strider. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to have actually three lanes of traffic here. We'll have the start lane coming up. Right. This is the road going up. Right. right? We have them coming off what we're calling the game plan here. There's a second lane that's going to lead to the open field. Right. And then they exit the open field and they come along the grass here. And that will take it into there. So the open field is going to be, you can see there's flags. And yes. Stuff there. The open field is like a cycle cross. Like the thing will just, it'll be flagged, it'll be taped off. We'll put some features in there, some log overs, uh, maybe built the field or something like that. So that area allows those people that can't get back into the trailer the ability to see what um so what spectator the, focus it's, it's, well, it's important to be all inclusive right, right. Yep. Canada games all about being all inclusive yep. so we took these rocks and we were able to clean up the area and manipulate them into a rock garden heading this way towards us right it can be written both ways as well yep. um, oh, for sure. yeah. it just <laughs> looks harder from this direction. Yeah, I was going to say, you have to have plenty of speed to get up there. Right. Yep. So, and if you look at where the flags are, that's what you've got from that flag to there to get so your speed. Make the turn. Get up and over. Yeah. yeah. And hit it. Because you need to, yep. there's a bit of a hump here that you need to right. deal with. This is, how long, uh, when they start, when did this start? We started in, I guess it was August of last year. Wow. Um, we had, we had over a thousand volunteer hours last year, um, you know, building what we have. And we've already, we were, we just started four weeks ago, I guess it is. They would have been crying today. So this was an wow. area here. The path was there. And over the last couple of years, it really went ahead and uh, eroded quickly. So we had to have a way for just regular people hiking down here. Right. Get around. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there was actually ah. something someone had built through here to get over the water. Yeah. And it was it was a it was a fence or not a fence but a ladder, and that's where that snakes and ladders sign. The right. guy was working on this trail because it had a ladder with wood on top of it. Snakes and ladders. Yeah. That's where he was kind of. But, so we created this. Hit this. Well, it's high. nice that you have the black. Yeah. Tape yeah. on it, so you yeah. don't go sliding. Yeah. Exactly. They're bougie. They don't use chicken wire like us country folks. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So it's a shingling material, yeah. and it's very effective. Um, From the last at least like 10, 15 years, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And there again, we monitor these every every month. We have to come out and look over all the features to make sure that everything's in good condition. So wait, the, wait till you see this! <laughs> wait till you see this! <laughs> so, a lot of this was already here. Um, as you can see, the rocks here. You know, 
There's a lot of rocks in this area, and I don't know if that was from the original. I guess that they had a building up. You know, these rocks, obviously, we couldn't carry these in from the works, but wood. Um, this so this is obviously we're gonna have. There's only gonna be for the race. There's only one line. You yeah. gotta go through there. Yep, no choice. For us though, we have a D line here. Because real mountain bikers just ride over the rock garden. Basically. Well, I'll yeah. this is really... Not, but yep. I mean, you know what? It's a, there again. You, you talk about speed. You get the right amount of speed, and once you keep going, I know there. You know, unfortunately, some of the things they made we just talked about it, bringing all the stone and stuff like that. The mountains, yeah. Yeah, oh my god, oh my god, it destroy the... Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's not, it's not the truth, I mean... You know, it, it's perception, again. It is. And a lot of it is simply marketing to the entire environment. Yeah, it's really nice one. And this is also a good area for watching the race. Yes. See the trails. Right, so you get a good view of them switching back. Yeah, you can see that there. Uh, multiple layers of... The, the wow. down on the bottom is the spectator access road, the main trail, but all these trails here work off of access. Back down, across, yeah, okay. Can you bounce off the fence? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you don't. <laughs> Jump up, get your wheels on it, get a little spring <laughs> turn, bounce back off. I put, we should start a pool. How many people hit the fence? <laughs> well, look at that. Look at that. There's yeah. another little rock. Mm. Yeah. On the rocks. A little. Yes, yes. Which is great to the area, but how it gets here is beyond me. That's why I think. Ah. Hey, look. Where's your line here? Yeah, I was looking up. Oh, this is a beeline. You come up here. But if you're really good. Yeah, come up across here and cut here. Actually, there are three lines. There's one, two, and here's the. Yeah. This is a third line, but you have to be able to not slip off this. You have to watch the handlebar on this. Here. This is kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta be careful when you come in. That's it. But that was, I mean, it was a big bunch of rocks, and we're like, okay, let's just uh, figure out how to get through there. Hmm. And, uh, so this is, we consider this the south loop. Right. Up here is where the south loop and north loop come together. Limbo time. See? Close. Stay off the trails until they're done, people. And we were getting so many people, we were so excited to promote people, and we were getting so much foot traffic. Yes. That it was leaving marks, and yes. we couldn't get done what we need done. On, if it rains, oh my god. This is going to be. Well, remember though, we're going to be three months, two months, uh, three, three months from now. Yeah. Right? So, as the summer goes on, this stuff hardens, and it'll be more like concrete, right. but it'll be wet, right? All right. This is the area that was wet here. Right. Oh. So, look, there is actually concrete there. That's a foundation from something. Well, it is, I guess. I don't know. Now look at that. You can see the concrete footings, and there's a, there's a drain that's running from somewhere. So this was our area of concern that the right. city um, had to address. And of course, our course crosses here, and there's also crosses down there. Isn't that called a feature? Well, Everyone watches the way they just have to bunny hop it. I, I, yeah, <laughs> I just don't need it to happen the night before or during. Yeah, while they're on it. Yeah. Yes. I'm standing on the sinkhole. Oh, okay. So, and that's where you can see where our trail down there. Yeah. Right, kind of goes right in the same oh, area. That that was our concern with the um, with the oak up that we wouldn't have the city wouldn't have a fix in time. Yeah. And you can't, you can't, even if you divert back before it, you don't have enough trail elsewhere to give you the 5k. No. Right. The only way to divert would be to go up high into the backyard, but it's still so high up. It, yeah. It's, so even trying to do like a bunch of yeah. switch backs to get back down, stay on that side of the sinkhole and go back, you guys would need months just to no. cut through this, right? It's 12, this, this section here, the north loop is 1200 meters long, so <laughs> approximately. So we couldn't get. Yep. 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 And again, through here, we were fairly fortunate. We really didn't have to, aside from 
moving a degree, it's doing some dense cutting. Right. Um, so there was not a lot of clearing. No, not really, because right. it's kind of like that. Yes, you okay. Know? So we added some logs here right. and whatnot. And, Gig yeah. builders, pay attention to the cross hatching. Very important. Shed water. Yeah. <clears throat> so the big question is if people want to help out, yeah. what do they have to do? Help out for the game. For the for the course building, for the games, for whatever that can contribute. Well the NTMA right. uh, has a donation page. Okay. If people want to get that up. People want to sign up and become a member. Right. To come out and help. That's on there as well. Go to megaflowmaintenance.com. Join up. Help out. Yeah. You ride these trails too. Time to give back. When he makes it. There's that bird again. <laughs> that oh, it's your phone. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> I've been deked by a phone. Right. So they'll use this to back forth. If we have some type of emergency as well. Right. Um, so it's really helped a lot. Um, so there was a value proposition right there, right? You needed some impetus yes. to bring the people who were apathetic yep. on side because somehow it was going to yep. bring money and yep. value to the region. Exactly. Like you said it. I can't wait to come back here and ride. Yep. Well, that means you're coming back. That's right. You're from Toronto. You're That's the right. Area. Exactly. You're going to get gas. You're going to have some food. You know, whatever Correct. Be, right? so yep. We're going to re enter on the lower bridge. Right. Come down here. Right. And we're heading out this way. Climax sewer cover. <laughs> but some so, people have hit it and <laughs> flat. Exactly. Blew out. So we asked if we could cover it for the games because it just looks kind of crappy yep. or something and like somebody that. will write it somebody trying to pass somebody well, somebody has tried to yeah. create a up uh, and over yes. right and it just looks you know, maybe we're hoping it might be a, a, a position where they're taking video from photographers yes because right? you can see the riders from across here they're coming out through that tree that over yes there, right yes you I'm, can see them this way yep so, this would be a good nice catch, little area right pan yeah Mm -hmm. and it's a good filter too right so it actually slows them down a little bit yes. to come around here and if you put a stand here yep. with some big bumper pads and mattresses mm -hmm. yeah. on the <laughs> side <laughs> here we'll probably raid up and over wow that's the right up and over yeah. the pile of sand gravel at the bridge so that's where you can, that was the ridge. Right, yep. So you can kind of see we've got. So these are the switchbacks. Yeah. yeah. So this is going to be a climb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Slow them down. So we had a former junior X rider out to do about half the course, trying to get a, an idea on climbing. Right. And he was doing about seven and a half minutes, which falls right into the 15 minutes. The 15 minutes. Right, course, right. So. And that was all in the south loop. Right. All this stuff. So north loop, we don't feel as though it's that difficult. Um, we should be right in the time frame we need. So. There you go. Build it and they will come. What did I hear that before? Right. We've got this, which is a it's more of a stone silt right. uh, type of um base here so we've used that to um, kind of create something different we've done a lot of different uh like you can be on asphalt you can be on gravel you can be on this you can be on clay right um so we're trying to there again create as much as possible with different, uh, um, different surface types yeah <laughs> all you need to do is find some sand yeah, I think that's the only thing that we're really lacking. All right. <laughs> yep. We're kind of hoping we maybe broadcast will uh, do something here where they could follow a rider through this. Right. right well, you need to put a, a multi rotor up in the air. Right. It's something that they could follow somebody yep. going through this. Yep. It's really like a great shot. Yep. Now we're back up at the open field. We're going to have you be the. Their poop. 
Right. Right. So there you go. We had a tour of the Canada 2022 mountain bike uh, race course with Tim Bradman of the Niagara Trail Maintenance Association. If you want to help them out, check uh, links below for the link to their website. Um, they will take five dollar donations, ten dollars, twenty dollars. You can go as high as you want, actually, um, or you can join, become a member, and contribute that way. <clears throat> One of the things they've asked is. While they're busy working on these trails, if you could stay off the trails that are marked closed, they don't want foot traffic or bike traffic because while it's wet, um, it can mess things up while they're working on them. So as always, I hope you enjoy when these trails do open up. You're all welcome to come out and check them out. Uh, look on their Facebook page. I guess they'll, they'll make an announcement. Stress less, ride more, ride smart, ride safe. See you guys on the trails. Take care.